Hey there guys, welcome back. Uh, been a while since I've uploaded, but I had a new idea for something that I wanted to try out. So, on the newer battlefields for AMS, they are changing quite a lot of stuff, and I wanted to make a kind of like a series video to show you the different things that are being changed. So, I created a new account over on another battlefield, it's only HQ9, um, but I'm using this account right here to just show you exactly how I got to that point and then we'll pick up on that account right where I left off. So I went through the tutorial just a second ago and all of the different stuff that they show you at the very beginning. Once you get to this point right here where it's asking you to click on the helicopter, you can hit the skip tutorial, but you do have to wait about five seconds for it to show up. You can just skip the tutorial and start playing right away, uh, which is what I definitely suggest doing. Now, the, the tutorial itself, other than making you do different things uh, that you're going to learn how to do anyway just by playing the game and pressing different buttons, I just don't agree with them forcing you to do so. So, the very first things that I always do is you always get this free uh, officer recruit, which is going to give you bull. Uh, you can hit skip and it will give you that officer. Now you can go to your officer and you're not going to have anything to upgrade him just yet, but it'll be quite soon when you do get the ability to upgrade him. Uh, go ahead and do the free upgrade for your HQ and then go to the helicopter or the Chinook and upgrade that and then upgrade this again it's going to force you to use a speed up or if you want to you can just sit here and wait uh, you might not even be able to do that anymore but either way I don't suggest waiting it's not worth your time just use the speed up it's fine um, it's trying to going it's going to try to give you a pack which you obviously will not want to do unless you are a big spender just starting out on the game which we'll get into different stuff like that as well. Um, you want to go to your bonus center and use all of the different things that are showing up because they are all going to give you free stuff. So even this bug killer right here is going to give you resources and potentially some other uh, small end stuff. So for right now we have the gent code event going on. It's going to be changing quite a lot. Uh, you always will have this to claim. You will always have your monthly sign-in to claim. With your first seven days of starting an account, you will get these uh, officers and these resources. So you will always be able to get these on every account. And then there's nothing else that you can get for right now on that area. Um, for right now, because it is Valentine's Day, they are doing a couple of different events. So one of which is this one right here. Let's see if we get lucky at all. Doubt we will. Yeah, that's a pretty garbage item. You need quite a few of those to be able to do anything with it. Then you get your free daily bonus, which is again something that is going on right now. It might not be when you are playing the game. So that is everything. Now that we have all of that done, your main goal is going to be to get to level four on your HQ so that way you can go to the battlefield map. So you will just continue with your upgrades. You go to the RC plane, you go ahead and build it. And I'm gonna show you something really quick that's pretty simple. Uh, a lot of people don't know that you can do this though. So right here you go to click your upgrade and you can see on the bottom left it says upgrade now free. But if you go over to your HQ, you also have to get your helicopter up to level three. This one is also free to do but when you upgrade it's going to cost 40 minutes you can use your speed ups I just click not now just so that you can understand what I'm trying to do now if you go back to the RC plane it still says upgrade now free you can do this even though you uh, have another thing in your building queue if you are using gold to upgrade or if you are just using the free version to upgrade it, it will do it instantly and it will still cost you the resources, but it will be 
instant speed up rather than you wasting your building queue on it. So it's just something that saves you a few seconds all around. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the copter camp just like I did on the other account. That you can't get into level 5 for your artillery. You can not get your lab. You cannot get pretty much anything else except for your defense factory. Um, you can't get any of this. Level 6, level 7, level 7. And then that's level 6 and this is level 12. Uh, the rest of this stuff unlocks at level 12. Now the thing that I like to do first off is going to get an army tent just so that when I go to train some troops here in a little while it will be a little bit better off than uh, training just 10 troops. If you get one troop tent your training capacity automatically increases to 40. So if I wanted to train these right now that 10 plus the 40 that that one camp gave us will now give us 50 rather than just 10 so I could train for 3 minutes and 18 seconds or now I can train for 16 minutes and 30 so it allows you to be AFK for a little while longer doing other things than concentrating on training small amounts of troops you can go ahead and get two of those if you want but I only leave it at one until we level up later on with your hospital, you always want to upgrade that as soon as you can, just so that your troops can have ample space. If they were to be attacked at any point, then you can make sure that you have plenty of space for them. When you first start out, you're going to have a lot of space anyway, because you do, do not have a lot of troops, so you will be fine. Now that that has been done, I'm going to go ahead and use the speed ups and use a little bit of the gold that I have because you'll get more later. Um, getting that up to level four, and it'll ask you to rate them. You obviously don't have to, you just click off of that. When you hit level four, you get this system message. Uh, you can click on the top right on the three dots and then click select all, and then the, just the claim reward. You get beginner teleports, you get all of the different beginner stuff. Uh, you'll get that on every account. Then now that you're level four, you can build the lab. Once you build the lab, it's going to prompt you and do go ahead and do this because it is extremely useful. That right there will allow you to have an extra marching queue and it just tells you to do it anyway. So you might as well just get it out of the way. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and do your first seven day carnival. It should always have the seven day carnival for your account. I've never seen it not, so just keep going with the carnival try to get the stuff that's in there done and you'll get more rewards at the end of the seven days now to get your hq up to level five you just keep doing this repeatedly all the way up further and further uh the only thing that is going to be different between this account and the other one is just the amount of time that i've spent on it so far so that's about it this account is exactly how I started with the other one and now all you do is level up your buildings doing the free methods as well as doing uh, the different events if you log in over multiple days because later on towards the level seven eight and nine they start to get into several hours of time being played and uh, spent just to level up one building so I prefer to set that and then go back to my main account. So it took me a, a little while, a little over a day, to get to where I'm at right now on that account. I also spent five bucks, I think it was, just to get a lot of the different speed ups. So it's not going to be a completely free playthrough, but it is going to be one that is in a battlefield that has a lot of different stuff on it different compared to all of the battlefields prior to I would say 450 so if you're past 450 uh, 460 in that area then you might be on a battlefield that this is how it is played so I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more of a series based on your battlefields rather than ones that you probably have seen guides for in battlefields from a while back or even ones prior on this channel so I'm going to go ahead and hop off of this account really quick and I will show you how we are standing on the HQ9. Alright, here we are on the account that is 
going to level 9. It's almost there. Um, all I've done, like I said from the last one, is just gone a little bit further in time. And I've gone through and upgraded everything free, so you can no longer upgrade anything on here for free. It just allows you to get to the other buildings a little quicker uh, and focus on those buildings more. And then while those are upgrading, you just go through and get all the other free upgrades out of the way. Uh, I still have a few slots right here for anything that I might want to put down. I uh, might put down another army tent, but as of right now, being able to train, what is it, 730 is more than enough. That takes several hours, and there are only level 3 troops that are coming out of those. But we have the level 6 tank camp, the level 7 uh, commando camp, the level 8 copter factory and the level three right now artillery camp because that one is going up next when you're doing the upgrades they do still go in the order of the tank camp first then the commandos copters and then artillery buildings so you can continue to plan for that um right here is just our current plastic production and upkeep the paint production everything else is locked currently but i'll periodically show where we're at throughout this process uh, and show you what our productions are. Other than that, we have gone through the Chinook for a little bit and just completed all of the normal uh, free special operations. Getting the $5 pack, which I did on this account a little bit ago, um, allowed us to get the Wendy officer and a few more speed ups, which I'll show you here in just a moment. Um, Actually, I'll show you the officers right now that we currently have. It's just going to be a bowl that I have leveled up quite a bit just so that we have uh, more capacity for our soldiers to be out. We have the normal Victoria, which you go through the tutorial and get her uh, through the special operations in the Chinook. Uh, you rank her up through that. You automatically get your Murphy ranked up to level 10 using that. Um, the Gingerbread Man X is through the free seven day thing. Uh, forget where I got the Headless Knight but I'm sure that it was from an event or it was from buying the $5 pack. And then the Wendy you always get from buying the $5 pack as well. You get that through the first recharge uh, option right next to the bonus icon on the top right. Uh, for the items currently, uh, we have quite a bit that is stuff that you would see on any other account. Um, got the couple of term terminator spare parts like i said before they're pretty garbage um a boxing duck spare part if i ever collect more of those then awesome and i might be able to get the boxing duck uh we currently actually we can do that right now awesome so we got that unlocked so we now have the boxing duck now off of that we have some troops, but they might be out right now, so I'll look at those here in a second. Uh, you've seen all of the stuff over there, so yep, just going through the normal stuff. For some reason, they gave me a quick movement, too. For a brand new account, that's a pretty late game item. Uh, later on is when you're wanting to be attacking, so I'm going to go ahead and pass on using that for a while. Uh, quite a few different speed ups, though. That $5 pack really did uh, hook me up quite a lot with the speed ups. And if you have a spare $5, then all it is going to do is save you some time. Uh, for the troops, let me check to see if they're out. They are not. So you can see level 8. And the troops are as seen here uh, 1100 tanks for the tier 2s and then 910 tier 1s, uh, 1,030 tier 1 commandos, 2,370 tier 1 copters, and 1,230 tier 1 artillery, and 274 defense uh, facilities. They are the traps that are for vehicle units. Um, vehicles are the bane of my existence when it comes to people attacking me because that's their big beefy front line, so if I can use traps on those to take them out faster, that's what I will normally do. So, as of right now, we're at 44,382 power, and a little bit higher now, but still 46,000 power almost for a level 8, almost level 9 account that is still pretty low just because I don't have very many troops, but you're also not going to want to have a lot of troops at this level 
just because your hospitals won't be able to really handle them. If you get attacked, you always want your uh, troop number, which you can see at the top right here, 7,370 is my total units. And then if you click on your hospital and go to details, you can see your total wounded capacity. You just add those two numbers together, which would be around 17,800. So I am way underneath the number right now. If I was to train more than that though and I get attacked, then anything that's above that number for the total units that I can have in my uh, hospital would die. So getting into the stuff that is new on these new battlefields. First off, in the recruit officer section, there is no longer a recycle area. Uh, there is also no longer an area that you can change officers to different officers, which I personally really dislike. It gave you an incentive to get your Victoria ranked up quite high and then start a new one, then using the new one and exchanging her for different officers. Then the other thing is not going to affect non-spenders, but you can see even in this one right here, if you're spending a $50, you're only getting 2,000 gold. Uh, normally that would be quite a lot higher. $50 normally gets you about 10,000 gold on other battlefields, on the earlier battlefields. Uh, if you if I go down and find a $99 pack, um, I saw one earlier, and yeah, right here. Normally a $99 pack will give you 25,000 gold. This one gives you 4,000. This is horrible. So I don't know what AMS is doing when it comes to these newer battlefields, but I am definitely not a fan of stuff like this. Uh, I'm going to talk with customer service uh, tomorrow night when they come back into office because AMS does only work Monday through Fridays. Uh, they are based out of China, so for me, it's tomorrow night when they come into the office because today is Saturday. Uh, I'll talk to them tomorrow night, and I'm going to try to figure out if this is going to be how it is permanently on this battlefield. If it is, then I'll continue this and I will continue making videos to show progress updates and we'll try to even get this account, maybe even my main account, uh, in some skirmishes, uh, have some fun during deep battles, stuff like that. But on this battlefield, I can tell you right now, with gold being hard to get, uh, even for spending money on it, it's going to be something that is a very demanded item for me. Uh, I spend a lot of gold on shields, so it's going to be something that I'm going to be putting a very high priority on gathering during the week, uh, as long as I keep this account going. So you'll be able to see exactly how I do that throughout this entire process. Uh, other than that, I'll keep you guys updated when new stuff comes around on this account. Otherwise, I have nothing else to really say to you. So I'll see you then.